When I made this video showing my experience with 1000 hours of usage with the Valve Index, in everything from intense games to watching movies to even sleeping in VR, as weird as that sounds, I had mostly positive things to say about the headset in general. But there is one thing in particular that I kinda grew to dislike about the Index, and that's the facial interface. There are a lot of reasons why I've grown to not like this one part, and I'll get into that in just a bit, but luckily the rumors were true, and the official Valve Index VR cover has been released. This is not just the fabric add-on from before, but an entire gasket and foam replacement. I think this is an overall improvement over the stock interface, but it may not be for everyone. So let's talk about what it improves and what it doesn't, and of course, who it's for. The Valve Index is incredibly comfortable. I think that's universally known by now. The soft fabric on both the facial interface and the head strap make for a wonderful fit, and it doesn't irritate my face. I can literally wear the headset for 24 hours, as I've done before, and not feel any pain. However, this material has a lifespan. There's just the normal wear and tear of having fabric and foam rubbing against your face, of course, but the fabric itself does an incredible job of soaking up sweat. After almost six months of using my index for hours daily, the stock facial interface was honestly pretty disgusting. I have cleaned it, washed it, followed Valve specific guidelines for disinfecting it, and even resorted to some DIY projects as a last ditch attempt to kill the bacteria and ick that made my index its home. I noticed too, I was starting to break out on my face pretty bad because because of the interface. I mean, it makes sense. I have this smelly, bacteria-ridden fabric on my face for hours a day, so I definitely say that the interface is an item that will need to be replaced at some point for everyone, and that point is all dependent on how much time you spend in VR. If you're a two hours a week kind of person, then you'll get a long, long time out of your interface. In fact, you might actually upgrade before you need to even change it out. But if you are in VR a lot, or you play games that raise your heart rate and then you sweat a lot, then that replacement time is going to come a lot sooner. So right as I was about to order a new interface directly from Valve, VR Cover actually reached out and offered this beauty. The official Valve Index Gasket and Interface Replacement. Just to be totally transparent, this is not a sponsored video. I was just sent a review sample for me to try and, if I felt like it, tell you guys how I felt about it. So here we are. I've been using this thing really hard for the past week that I've had it. With Boneworks recently released, I put about 15 hours there, 6 hours in Sanser, and about 15 hours of streams, and of course testing out the 360 degree Beat Saber map. So I feel like I've gotten a pretty decent idea of who this accessory is for and what kind of person may enjoy its benefits. But first, let's get into everything that you get in the package. First off, you get the new magnetic gasket, two side wedges as they're called, and two PU leather foam face pads. One is standard thickness and the other is a comfort pad. So oddly enough, every single VR cover I have ever used on other products from the original CV1 to the Vive or Quest, I've always preferred the slim pad. Usually it's more comfortable and slightly increases the field of view. Here, however, I kind of like the comfort pad, you know, the thicker one actually. These PU leather foam pads are actually memory foam, similar to what you find on the stock index foam pads, so needless to say, they are pretty plushy and comfortable. The reason I say I like the comfort pad here is normally that thick pad would restrict your field of view and feel bulky on your face, but because of the index's eye relief slider, with the comfort pad, I'm able to slide that thing all the way to my face and get a very similar FOV with just a little bit more comfort. But of course, it comes with both, so it's really not that much of a debate. You'll be able to find which one you like better, and I find myself swapping between the two all the time. Installation is incredibly easy. Just take the interface, put the two side wedges on. Oh, and by the way, these side wedges are there to slightly push the foam against your temple so there's no white leak. It doesn't affect anything else. Then choose which foam pad you want. Align it with the Velcro, sticker on, and slide on the new interface into the exact slot on the index that your old interface goes into. It's all magnetic, so it fits right in. I did find that the magnets are maybe just a tad weaker than stock, but that really makes no difference either way. So in my experience, is it actually good? And I'd say hell yeah. There are very obvious benefits and drawbacks to using a material like PU leather, which in case you didn't know is fake leather, over the fabric or foam used in other stock headsets. For one, it's extremely easy to clean. I mean, you just wipe it off. Whether it's a little sweaty or completely soaked, it doesn't matter. Just wipe it and you're good to go. I suppose it may be good practice to wipe it down every now and then and disinfect it after usage, but in 
general, it's just a far more hygienic solution versus the foams or in the index's case, cloth that folks up all your sweat and face bacteria grows a little family of stank. But that's also the exact downside of the PU leather. It doesn't soak up the sweat, like at all. I didn't notice any extra fogging with the index, but there is one situation with the VR cover that I felt maybe a little uncomfortable and hot. And that was when I got down a dirty in Beat Saber. Of course, my face sweated. And instead of the cloth soaking it all up as nasty as that sounds, I just kind of had this thing stick to my face. Now that was only in one session that that happened, where I happened to sweat more than normal. I haven't noticed many other issues, but I also don't play games like Beat Saber, at least not intensely for hours daily. But if you do sweat a lot, I think it's worth considering what's important to you. Having a piece of cloth that's kind of hard to clean and get soaked with your bio juices, or just taking a few seconds every couple songs to wipe off the moisture accumulated on the foam pad. It's really up to you and what you personally find annoying. I just know that literally no matter what I did, the smell would always come back with the stock cloth. And it was time for a new one anyways. And it's likely that this VR cover will last longer, but I guess time will tell for that. Now, in terms of actual comfort and fit. When I first heard rumors of a gasket and facial interface replacement for the Index, I was kind of surprised to be honest. VR cover has made stuff that I enjoy in the past, but how do you improve on something that already feels so nice and comfortable like the Index does? And well, it's not an improvement, not gonna lie, but it certainly is comfortable. And I can't think of many ways you can make the front section of the stock Index any more comfortable as it's already pretty awesome, but the VR cover certainly doesn't make it less comfortable, which is important here. I was worried about the little flaps or side wedges, but they have made no difference and I haven't noticed them. The one time I felt actual discomfort from the VR cover was the one time I had got extra sweaty, which a quick wipe down fixed that situation. And I have scraped my nose on the little flap you see here with the seam of the PU leather when flipping the headset up on my forehead. However, it wasn't painful, just uncomfortable, and now I know to avoid doing that exact movement the next time I adjust it. So is it right for you? Like I said before, I think it's totally up to you and what you find annoying. If you're in VR a lot, then I say it's kind of a must-have actually, like it's just way cleaner. I can deal with wiping off the headset every now and then. One thing I could not stand is the smell that came back just a few days after doing a total deep clean of the stock interface over and over again. Of course, you can just buy another Index official foam replacement, but depending on your usage, sweat levels, and other factors, you may just be in the same spot in a few months, and I think the VR cover is a solid, nearly as comfortable replacement for those kind of users, but it's not for everybody. I'm also going to mention this is based off of my own 40 to 50 hours or so with the index on my face over the last, you know, week or two weeks. If you're super sweaty or absolutely can't stand the feeling of leather on your face, I understand. This review is just based off of my personal experience. Also, links for everything are in the description and pinned comment below. Those are affiliate links, so if you use them, I get a small cut back and it helps support me to make more videos like this in the future. If you don't want to use the links provided, that's no big deal either. You can find this product at vrcover.com. Well, I hope you enjoyed and have a better understanding of the Index and my favorite accessory for them so far. I've tried DIY fans, knuckles, and knuckle palm supports, the previous cloth interface VR cover, and this is definitely the most complete edition that I've found use from. Thank you to everyone you see on the screen right now for being an amazing Patreon supporter, especially my Omega supporters like Skeleto. I couldn't be doing any of this without you. Don't forget to like this video if you loved it, subscribe if you want more of this, and hit that freaking bell if you just can't live without it. Much love, thrill out.